Hi, and thank you for listening. This is Sherry Andrea, and I really appreciate you. Uh, first of all, you could find me at SherrySpeaks.com, uh, where you can find 80 plus attunements, um, as well as a certificate creator that makes beautiful certificates um, that are only $1.75 each. Um, no waiting. It creates it right then and there um, in PDF format for you to go ahead and download or print um, whether you need it for yourself or for your students just put in all your information um, you choose whatever certificate you want now keep in mind remember because many of you have been doing this some of you do use the certificate creator and I notice that um, some of you that haven't gotten attuned by me for certain things are still creating their certificates, putting the date, and putting me as the person that attuned you. Um, no, you're not, you, you're not being honest. And I, and I understand, I totally understand why some of you may be doing that. You may not actually remember who attuned you or remember the name of the person, in a case like that, it is better to just get reattuned, which is pretty simple, pretty easy. Get reattuned, whether it's an attunement from my website or get reattuned by someone else. Get reattuned so at least you can say, okay, well, at least I have all the information. I can legitimately get, the, get that certificate and it has the right person that actually really attuned me. Um, and I'm saying this because it depends on what you're going to use it for. Um, there are some organizations that you may try to join that take these things seriously. So it is best to be just uh, try to be honest about it. You know, I mean, totally understand if you just can't remember who attuned you. Well, if that's the case and it's been years and you just can't remember, just get reattuned so that at least you're being honest um, so that you won't have trouble actually using that certificate in the future if you need to use it to do something. Okay, so and the other things on the website that you can find, um, lots of information, of course, in the blog archive, but also services such as the Deep Energy Clearing, which is still on sale for $15. Um, also, um, uh, Psychic Readings, which are only $39 for 30 minutes, or um, $65 if you want a full hour, and that's regardless of whether you want a reading or a coaching. Um, pretty much interchangeable because even when I do coachings, it's still, my higher self is still involved. So um, feel free to go and find me at sherryspeaks.com. You can also email me from the website and make a donation if you'd like to from the website. Um, please just remember to subscribe, like, and if you'd like to share the video. Okay, let's get right to it. This is actually going to be, I think, a short a short video. Um, I just wanted to mention something because I'm often, when I'm doing sessions, teaching sessions where, where I'm helping people with developing their psychic development skills, their abilities, um, helping them to actually um, like work on using them, not just opening up to them, but actually work on using them. Um, sometimes it's kind of hard to describe to people the experiences that they're going to have, how their abilities may manifest, what they need to look out for. You know, it's like, okay, I'm going to be paying attention, but I don't really know what is it that I'm paying attention for. How is this going to come across? How is information going to come to me? If I don't even know how it's going to come to me, well, it could have been coming to me already and I don't even know it because I wasn't aware. Oh, that's how it's manifesting. Oh, that's what that was. Oh, I've had that going on for a while. I didn't know that that's what it was. Okay, so I wanted to use an example of something that happened to me today. And this is how this happens to me all the time. This isn't just a here or there thing. No, every day, all the time. Okay, so 
I've talked in the past about the fact that we are always on and that is the way it's supposed to be. We are always on and we're supposed to be always on. That is our natural state to be always on and always open. That information always able to flow through us. Guidance always being able to come to us, whether we're asking a question or not. However, I, of course, I always say, when you're first learning to use your abilities, it is best to ask a question because in the beginning, you're trying to get things going. You know, um, there'll come a time when you don't always have to ask the question. Information flows to you as like, for example, your higher self begins to understand what types of information you definitely want to receive and what types of information you don't need to receive. Okay, so for example, there are things I don't need to know, but there are things that come to me. And um, this morning, I was having my coffee. I was out on my back porch. And I don't know, it just, this thought just came to me. And look, I I hadn't read or like watched any type of news in like a couple of days. Haven't, hadn't even read it, any news on my phone. I tried to, in the last couple of days, stay away from n- news, things that had been, heavily reported especially in the last couple of weeks i just wanted to take a break from you know some of the news that's been reported of like you know you get inundated with this stuff so i haven't really watched the news for for watched or read the news for the last couple of days and i'm sitting on the back porch this morning and just all of a sudden this thought came to me that i just started thinking you know i understand when A public figure or celebrity like Kobe Bryant uh, passes away. I understand that they have lots of fans and people who like them that would want to come to like a memorial service. However, I started thinking, but you know, it's so hard for the family. They're in mourning. They're grieving. It's really hard for them. And I started thinking, you know, it's like... They're going through something that's making it hard for them to even get, just get out of bed every morning. That's how rough what they're going through is. Um, They're just trying to survive every day. And I started thinking, you know, I can, I started thinking to myself, you know, I understand why it took so long for them to actually you know, have, you know, as far as when the public memorial service was going to be. And it just came to my mind. I was like, yeah, I get it. I understand why it didn't happen sooner. It's because it's really hard. Imagine, you know, you got to face all these people. You've got to, you know what I mean? You're mourning, you're grieving, it's so hard. It's it's not just your husband. It's one of your children. And it's so tough. And now you have to go and try to be present and, and together and everything for this public memorial. You have to be able to stand up and keep it together and everything during this public memorial. And I remember I started thinking... Yeah, you need time before you do that just to be able to get through something like that. And I started thinking, I think it's much better if when it's this situation and it's a public figure that they always have a private funeral and then a memorial sometime later. But as far as you know, um, a funeral, a burial, I started thinking, yeah, it's better if they have a private one. Now, keep in mind, nothing, nothing triggered me thinking of all this, meaning I hadn't heard somebody talking about it. I hadn't read anything. I hadn't read anything the night before, 
no no news notification about it had come across my phone or you know my tablet or anything literally this was literally this thought that came to me was out of the blue and wasn't connected with anything that that triggered it i just started these thoughts just started flowing through my mind and that was in the morning okay so about an hour ago, I think it was about an hour ago, um, I I got a notification. It was about something different. Um, I saw this. I got this notification about something going on with New York City cops related to um, a couple of them getting shot and them calling this assassinations and them saying there's, you know, like um, the, the, the union, the police union saying they're against the mayor and I don't know, whatever it was. But it was interesting, so I clicked on it and read a little bit about it because I'm like, what is this? Um, because I do, um, I've known people, I've done sessions with people who are, who, who work as police officers or, you know, they have some connection with, you know, some police department. So, um, you know, so it interested me, uh, you know, what the title, what it was titled and that's what caused me to look at it. And so, you know how it is when you, um, you read, you get a notification and you read one news article on your phone and then once you're done reading it, if you hit the back button, you end up going to the main page and seeing the rest of the news, right? So that's what happened. So when I hit the back button, and I think it was in Google. It ended up taking me back to like the main Google news page. Um, that's when I saw this article that said um, that Kobe Bryant and his daughter were laid to rest in a private funeral today. Um, and that the public memorial will be on the 24th. I think, I think that was the data set. And then that's when I said, okay, now it makes sense. Because that's exactly what came to me. Those thoughts that were coming to me this morning. This is sometimes how you will get things. You will actually get these random thoughts that come to your mind. And you think it's just you. Your own mind. Your own ponderings. But if you really took the time to stop and think about it and question yourself. Did something trigger me to start thinking that way? Why did I start thinking about that? Was it something that was going on? Something that I saw? Something that I heard that triggered me to start thinking about that? And when you say, hmm, no, nothing triggered it. I didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. It just, this thought just came to me. These thoughts, it, the thought came to me and it just kept going almost like you feel like you're the one doing it like you feel like it's you that's thinking through this and everything but it's not this is sometimes how your abilities will work and how information will come to you this is why working on using your abilities can be difficult for some people sometimes because of i call it how subtle it can be meaning it's not obvious where it's coming from and it's easy to mistakenly think that it's just you that it's just a thought that you had that that's coming from you um when it's not it's coming through you it's like getting a message Often, the ways that you can tell that it's your abilities working because it's like like I did. You can tie it to real information. You can validate it later. Later, it's validated. And then when you think about it, you're like, yeah, it's true. I could have guessed that. I could have assumed that. But when you think about it you're like but why would i have started thinking about that this is not something i normally even think about and there was no reason for me to begin thinking about it i was just having my coffee mind my own business and all of a sudden this thought came to me and just it just kept coming you know the details of it just kept coming 
So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people. There's going to be a lot of I don't believe in psychic ability people that say, oh, it's just your imagination. It's just a coincidence. Oh, that's really nothing. It's fine. If you don't believe in psychic abilities, I'm just saying it's okay for you to say, yeah, I see what you're saying, but I still don't believe. It's okay. You don't, it's like you don't offend me if that's the way you feel. Now, of course, you know, nor <laughs> normally you keep things like that to yourself because, of course, you know, in society and, you know, with humanity, we know that we've been raised that it's, it's, it's not polite to disregard people and their beliefs just because you don't believe it. But what I'm saying is, if you're a person that doesn't believe in psychic abilities, it's okay for you to say, well, I don't really believe that that's what you had going on. I think that that was just you coming up with that thought and it wasn't anything else because I don't believe in psychic abilities and I don't believe there's anything else out there and I believe that we're going to live, we're going to die, and that's just it. Okay, and that's fine. But this, what I'm talking about is for people who, one, do believe in psychic abilities and two, specifically are on a path to learning to use their psychic abilities um, more effectively. This is who this talk is for, okay? So, um, the reason why I think it's important to point, you know, share these examples, point this out, is because... Um, in the beginning, when you're working on using your abilities, that is what you're trying to do. You're trying to like figure out for you. It's like you're saying for me, how do my abilities manifest? Because everybody is different. How their abilities are going to manifest for them. Everybody is different. Um, some people are way more clairvoyant and clear audience, and maybe it, it's a little bit easier for them. Um, for me, um, I, that is how I get things and I really have to be, oh, I really have to pay attention because if I don't, I would miss a lot. I'm constantly getting things all the time. And so early on, I had to really teach myself, don't, don't brush everything off at least consider the possibility and question it like is this something like i've used before the example of going to the grocery store i was actually on my way home um from from somewhere else i had went to i had run errands i went to a store and a couple places and on my way home the grocery store is near my house I had decided, oh, well, while I'm out, I'll just, before I go home, I'll swing into the grocery store. I'm going to pick up a couple of things instead of going home and coming back out again. And as I pulled into the parking space, actually turned my car off, started to get out of the car, something in my head said, no, you know what? You can come back later and go to the grocery store. And I literally sat in the car for a few minutes and kind of went back and forth and argued with myself. Like, why would I do that? I'm already here. I've already, I've parked. I've turned the car off. Why would I do that? Why would I turn the car back on and go home and come back later? And I said to myself, no, that's silly. That doesn't make any sense. Why would I do that? So I ignored what I heard in my head. And I got out of the car, and sure enough, the minute I walked into the grocery store, no sooner had I grabbed my shopping cart and started to push, I heard somebody say, Sherry? Sherry Hanshaw? And I turned and looked, and it's, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to admit this. <laughs> I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit it. It was somebody I had been trying to avoid, actually. Uh, for a reason this was like before I got into like this was like back when I was still working in transportation management and stuff and I had a business and I um 
I, I was, this was actually a vendor I had been using that I was no longer doing business with. And, you know, sometimes you want to avoid those conversations of why aren't you using, you know, my services anymore, whatever. And, you know, I was always that person. I, I hated being confronted with questions like that. I hated the possibility of disappointing anyone or hurting anyone's feelings. And so this was a person I was trying not to run into. And so sure enough, after the incident, I immediately thought to myself, well, now I know what that was about. Now I know why that voice in my head said, you know what? You can come back to the grocery store later. Just go home, do it later. Sometimes you don't get all the details when you, when you get information. And at that time, honestly, I hadn't asked for more information. I didn't question it to the extent where I said, because it wasn't obvious to me where the information was coming from, I literally just thought it was me. And that maybe that was me being lazy. You know, so that's why I brushed it off. I thought I was just being lazy. So I didn't bother the, to question it more, to ask the question, well, why? Maybe if I had, maybe more information would have come to me. Maybe I would have gotten a visual of that that man, a visual of him that I was trying to avoid to the point where I could have said, oh, okay, I just got this visual. I saw this man. Okay, now I can put two and two together. You're trying to tell me I'm getting ready to run into this guy. But see, I didn't do that. But the reason why was because I brushed it off and thought it was just silly and that it was just me just being lazy. So really, it's sometimes the information you're getting, it comes in such a subtle way, in a way that you, you maybe can't buy into, that just doesn't even seem right to you. Like, like I said, I said, why would I do that? I'm here. I've, I've parked. I've turned the car off. Why would I not go in at this point? Why would I turn the car back on and drive away at this point? Re it, to me, I just thought ridiculous. No, it wasn't. My higher self knew I was trying to avoid that man and tried to help me. But. You know, when you're first learning to use your abilities, sometimes one of the biggest complaints that I hear from people is that they didn't get enough information. Or they'll say, well, maybe if I would have held on longer, worked with it longer. But it's easy in the beginning to not work with it long enough, not ask you know, continue on and ask the questions, not to put in that much time and effort. Why? Because when you're first learning to use your abilities, often it's easy to get frustrated um, and just want to, you know what, that's enough for right now. Because you can end up getting frustrated. You know, I'm really like, you're saying I'm really trying. I'm trying here, but I'm just not getting the full picture of what this is about. I'm getting a piece of it, but not enough. And so a lot of times people will stop at that point. They'll be like, oh, whatever, <laughs> you know, because it gets frustrating. But you really have to hang in there. You know, like I always say, you know, if you do the work, if you put in the work, if you put in that effort, it will pay off for you. But you got to remember that it's not how they portray it on the movies and in TV shows. It is not that easy. Now, yes, sometimes people have um, clear audience. I, I knew someone, you know, that had clear audience. And when it developed right from the very beginning, they had no problem hearing. They had no problem even asking questions and hearing that response. And for some people, it is that way. There's no blocks. There's nothing in the way. Everything's coming to them very easily, very clear. But it's not that way for, for all of us all the time. Some of us really got to work at it. So you got to hang in there, and, but you got to pay attention. You know, don't discount anything. 
just start going through your day like you assume everything is something. Every thought that crosses your mind may be something. I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, if you're trying to work on, you know, developing using your abilities, it may sound silly, but it does work. Start paying attention to those thoughts. Don't just let them come and go and never pay them any attention. you got to retrain yourself to think everything. Everything that crosses my mind, it may be something. I've at least got to stop for one moment and go, hmm, where did that thought just came, come from? Was it triggered by something I just saw, I just read? What made me start thinking about that in, in the way that I am? Question it. Well, thank you for allowing me to share this with you. I hope that it was helpful. Uh, feel free to comment. Um, feel free to comment, share your experiences. Um, it, it's often helpful for others, so I w would appreciate it if you do it. Um, remember, of course, be kind, nice, positive in your comment. There is a positive way to say everything. Um, I really appreciate you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Namaste.